All right, continuing with our skill work. Um, this problem is there because many students will cancel one of the fractions and leave the other one alone and division, right? Undoes multiplication, not subtraction. So start with something you know. 10 divided by two is five. Rewrite the number 10 is six plus four. So six plus four divided by two has to equal five. Right? You can't just say two goes into six three times and three plus four. Not true. Another way of thinking about division by two is multiplication by a half. A half times parentheses, six plus four. I think you can see the distribution there. All right, so reducing five tenths is a half. And three and five, two more in the denominator. I wrote three, I don't know why. Two more in the denominator. And we're subtracting. 20 divided by 10 is 2, and x to the 7th over x to the 5, so I guess I'll write it like this. There are two more in the numerator, two more factors in the numerator. All right, 9, 6 is 3 halves. All right, I can divide each by 3. 17 and 8, 9 more factors in the numerator. 8a, so there's 7 more in the denominator, and 6 goes into 12 twice. So 2 takes care of the integers, and a to the seventh takes care of the a values. More practice. Well, 5 goes in 15, 3, and x to the 23. 3x to the 23. 5 goes in the 20, so we got a minus 4, and it looks like 7 from 23 is 16. We're just counting. These are not alike, so we can't subtract them. These exponents are not the same. So those are not like terms. Six eighths is four, four and three, right? Two is a common factor. And it looks like there's seven more factors of X in the denominator. Minus, I can divide by two again, that's seven thirds. And I've got 21, 17, there's four more in the denominator. One more time, five is a common factor, the a's cancel, so I'm looking at five halves. Five goes into 25, five, five goes into 10 twice, and 10 goes into 33, and one a can be taken away from the eight, which makes it seven. All right, inverse. Inverse is when you use operations to solve an equation, when you have a single variable. So we're really asking, what are the operations? If you knew you had a number over here, how would you solve this equation? Well, I think you'd add seven. I think you'd divide by two. Let's put a number in that's easy to work with. Let's put 10 in here. So if I put a 10 in, 20 minus seven is a 13. A 13 should get me a 10 in the inverse. 13 plus seven, 20 divided by two is 10. It's good to check. Only takes a second. A lot of times you'll find you make a careless error, especially if you start to get tired from so many questions. Good to check real quick. All right, so this is here because it's really our, one of our Algebra 2 questions. A lot of this is still Algebra 1, trying to close gaps, but this is an Algebra 2 question. And so how would you solve if you had a number over here? Well, that answer is the input of the inverse. I think I'd have to divide by two, and then you're still trying to learn the inverse of three to the X, and you'll keep hearing it all semester is log base three of. So why don't we put a two in for this and three squared is nine, that gets me 18. And down here, let's see if an 18 comes out as a two. Well, 18 divided by two is nine. We can put on top of a three to get a nine, a two, okay? Let's pretend we had an answer here and let's get our inverse. But we'll call our answer X. Looks like you gotta subtract three. Nice algebra one skill here. I'm gonna double this. This is a number that's expressed in two parts. If I'm gonna double it, I need a parentheses to double each part. And then multiplication by five becomes division by five. All right, why don't we uh, put a nice easy number in here like four. So two goes into four twice, 10, 13, four gets us 13. Down here, will a 13 get us 4? 13 minus 3 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20 divided by 5. I like my answer. 
Okay. Again, another inverse. Pretend we have a number here. Let's call it X. Let's put that number. We'll pretend it's the letter X. So the inverse subtraction of seven becomes addition of seven. Multiplication by two becomes division by two. Cube rooting becomes cubing. I think that's my inverse. Let's get a nice round number here. Let's put an eight in. Cube root of eight is two times two is four minus seven is negative three. Eight gets me negative three. Let's put a negative three in and see if it comes out as an eight. Negative three plus seven is four. Four divided by two is two. And two cubed is eight. I like my answer. And oh, we got a logarithm, base three. Boy, I wonder what that could be for an inverse. Well, let's pretend we have a number here. So let's get our inverse by looking at the inverse operations for solving. Looks like I got to take away a five. They may need a parentheses around that without even looking. No, I didn't really need it because the fraction bar does it, but we'll leave it there anyway. And that takes care of the five and the two. What's the inverse of log base three? Three raised to the, and subtraction of four becomes addition of four. Ah, why don't we throw a nice easy number in here like uh, 31. 31 minus four is 27. What's the exponent on top of the three that gets you 27? Three times two is six plus five is 11. So in the original, a 31 gets us an 11. Let's hope an 11 gets us 31. 11 minus five, six. Six divided by two, three. Three to the three, 27 plus four gets us 31. I like my answer. Okay, now we got some binomial squaring. Okay, and you really shouldn't have to write this out as 5x minus 1 times 5x minus 1. Okay, you should be taking a shortcut. 25x squared doubling minus 10x plus 1. 4x squared, that becomes minus 8x, double it, minus 16x plus 4. What would be a nice number to plug in? I almost forgot to write the square. What would be a nice number to plug in to see if these calculations really are the same? How about let x equal 1? Then 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So here, a 1 gets us a 4. Let's put a 1 in. 16 minus 16 plus 4. Oh, a 1 gets us a 4. Yeah, they may be the same calculation, just expressed differently. Now let's do this one, 49x squared. The product is 21x, we'll double it. 42x, and we'll square the last number. Looks like squaring the last number is always giving us a positive. There's a little pattern there. All right, next one. I hope you're pausing the video and doing these as quickly as me right now. 36x squared, that's minus 30x. I'll make it minus 60x plus 25. I know 11 times 11 is 121, so that's 121x squared. That's 22x a positive, so I'll make it 44x plus 4. All right, it's going to work with some radicals here, some square roots. This has been stated before, but it doesn't mean you've seen it yet. 2 times 3 is 6. I can write the number 2 as the square root of 4. I can write 3 as the square root of 9. 6 is the square root of 36. I think there's a pattern there. And the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 is 9 by definition. The square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. Knowing those two things is very helpful because you can rewrite 14 as the square root of 7 times the square root of 2. And I'm seeing the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, 7 root 2. And I might ask you to approximate that by saying 7 times 1.41. I think it's really important. You get a feeling for size of numbers you work with a lot. And then trigonometry, you're going to see the square root of 2 coming out of your ears. All right, square root of 55 times the square root of 5. Square root of 5, square root of 11, square root of 5. And I can do the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 first. 5 root 11, right? If you were going to do 2 times 3, which is 6 times 4, you should get 24. So you could have written that as four times two times three. There's eight times three, 24. There's six times four, 24. 
you can rearrange rearrange multiplication. So how would I do this one? Well, I think I'd rename square root of six, square root of two, square root of three, rename square root of 10, square root of two, square root of five. And I can see square root of two times square root of two is two root three. And I can see square root of two times square root of two is minus two root five. And this is like saying two X minus two Y. Can't do anything with it. That's your answer. Couple more problems here to try. Oh, I think I see the square root of 33 times the square root of 33 times the square root of two. Sure looks like 33 root two. And from a problem two minutes ago, I hope you know that's the same thing as an approximation 1.41. All right, so now more complicated one, we got to get the first multiplication is, I'll write it this way, All right? There's two root five times three root 10. I'm looking for pairs. I only see one, root five times root five, which is five times two is 10 times three is 30, root two. Oh yeah, there's our 1.41 again. Hmm. Everybody keeps saying it. We'll be able to do that. Oh, I haven't finished the problem. So now I have two root five. I'm gonna put the minus in front of it. Minus two root five times four. Well, I know minus two times four. And 15 could have been root five, root three. So I'll do the minus two times four minus eight, the root five, root five times five, root three, which again is another one of those that I'm hoping you know. Some of you are getting close. Some of you are starting to say minus 40 times 1.73 could get me an approximation for that. Okay, so now I got a few more radical problems to work with. And I'm hoping you know your squares. 50. Square root of 25 times square root of 2, 5 root 2. 98. Square root of 49 root 2. Oh, there's that 1.41 again. 7 root 2. 45. Square root of 9, square root of 5. I think that could be stated as 3 root 5. I don't know root 5. I should been at this long enough. I should have memorized that one too. Square root of 300. Sure looks like the square root of 100 times the square root of three. Oh, there's our 1.73 again. Uh, but we'll say 10 root three as an exact answer. 128. Geez, I know that's even. I could divide that by two and get 64. Two times 64. You know, I think that's the same thing as eight root two. Oh, there's our 1.41 again. All right, there's another five problems. It's practice, reps are everything. Boom, 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 boom. 